Welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this cool animated background on your cargo website. So uh, I'll show you how to make it work on trigger. If you click uh, any element you choose uh, it will start working and if you uh, click it again it will stop working. And I'll also show you how to make it work without any triggers. This is my cargo website and first thing I need to do is open the page where I'm going to use this effect. In my case it's going to be my home page. And you need to make sure that you uh, have no background color here. So you, we cannot keep it like that. It cannot be a uh, white color or black color or any other color. Uh, you need to remove it at all. So you need to click this uh, icon. And now we uh, have uh, no color here. Then we need to find our trigger element. Uh, to find this element into our code, uh, we can use this hint. So if you hover over your element, you will see uh, the name of this element. Uh, our image is called image for the free. So now I can go there and find it here. Well, uh, it was kind of easy in our case, but sometimes when you have several mm, uh, elements or like more images, it's hard to find and uh, to make sure that you choose the correct one, you can just hover over uh, this image here in this panel. So uh, I can see here that I have no tag around this element, uh, so I need to create uh, a new one. But if you uh, will see a tag, you can use it, or if this element is already have an ID, you can use it as well. Uh, but uh, I'm going to create uh, a new one and I'm going to use this ID for this element. Uh, our ID is called uh, gradient button. Then you need to save your page and open your design panel and go to CSS editor. Then copy this code. You will find this code uh, below this video so uh, you could copy this as well and paste it here. Uh, here you can control your colors, you can change it uh, and you also can change their duration because these numbers uh, basically shows when the next color starts and 0% means that this is like a starting point and this is like an end of our animation. And we also can control the duration of the whole animation here. So if you want to make it faster, you can change it like that or uh, you can use any other number. So not that you need to change it uh, twice because uh, these two lines are created for different browsers. Then save it and open your HTML panel. Here you need to paste this script. Uh, how it works? Uh, it finds an element with our ID uh, like gradient button, but you can use uh, any other ID you want. And when uh, this element is clicked, uh, the animation which called gradient starts working. So uh, now we can go there and test it. So as you can see, it works correctly. And let me show you how to make it work without any uh, triggers. So uh, we don't really need this code anymore, so you can remove it. And uh, you also need to remove this part uh, from your CSS. And instead of these lines, you need to copy and paste uh, this. And now you see that it starts working immediately and you also can change the duration here, but note that uh, we see like a rapid break between the last uh, and first colors. So you need to make sure that uh, both colors are the same. You can also add more colors, you can uh, change them or do whatever you want. 
And you can also remove uh, your ID from the element. So we don't really need these lines anymore because we're not uh, using any triggers. And uh, yeah, now it, it's working. It starts working immediately and uh, it's going to work entirely. So thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective and other building platforms or follow my Instagram uh, to get more interesting things for web designers.